I'm Dr. Roger and today we're working on differential equations, in particular the Laplace transform. Today I'm going to find the Laplace tra transform of uc of t, also written u of t minus c. This is the unit step function or the heavy side function, which is 0 for t less than c and 1 for t greater than or equal to c. So the graph of uc of t looks like this. The Laplace transform is written this way and integral transforms are the integral from alpha to beta k of s t f of t dt. For the Laplace transform, alpha and beta are zero infinity. k of s t is e to negative s t. And since this is a piecewise function, I can integrate from zero to c e to negative s t times the first piece, which is zero, plus the integral from c to infinity e to negative s t times the second piece, which is 1. Integral of 0 is 0. So this is limit b goes to infinity, being formal about this. Integral from c to b, and the integral of e to the negative s t is negative 1 over s e to the negative s t from c to b. Substituting the limit, the endpoints, the upper limit of integration is b minus 1 over s e to the negative s b minus negative is plus 1 over s e to the negative s c. Now, as b goes to infinity, this first term goes to 0 if s is greater than 0. we need that restriction. And the second term is 1 over s e to the negative s c. So we can write the transform of our unit step function u c of t is e to the negative c s over s is how it's usually written. It is important to know where all the transforms in your table of Laplace transforms come from. It's worth going through these on each of the formulas in your table that you will probably be using in class. So come back soon for my next differential equations video. With math, there's always more.